A Lost Diary from the Salem Witch Trail. Created by Randomly Confused. Young Emily went into the dark, run-down house. She was scared out of her wits, but this would prove to her older brothers she wasn't scared. She had to do this so they would stop teasing her and calling her a baby. <laughs> she crept up the rickety old stairs, praying they would collapse. All those stories about murders and screams in the night were just rumors to scare her. <laughs> Almost laughing, she opened the door and found some stairs that led to an extremely dark room. The light was, was coming in through the window and shone upon an old open book with somebody's handwriting. After much debating, Emily opened the diary to the first page. August 13, 1692. I'm starting to keep this diary because it is all I have to help keep my sanity. My name is Genevieve Binks. I'm just a mere 17-year-old townsgirl. I live in Salem, Massachusetts. My life was a normal Puritan life, which I love dearly. You might be wondering how I need to keep my sanity then. My father has locked me in our attic. My father fears I'm a witch. Even if he catches me writing in this, he will think I'm writing spells against him. I must go now. I hear footsteps on the stairs. August 19, 1692. Today wasn't a very good day. The townspeople are celebrating, thinking they got rid of five more witches. I know those people are innocent. <laughs> Poor Martha, she was such a nice lady, always saw good in everybody. I assume that's why she was accused of witchery. All the women didn't look as happy near her. September 23, 1692. I know I'm growing weaker and there's nothing I can do. My father is still ashamed for me to show my face. He now tells the townspeople I died from the flu. I think the trials are drawing to an end. Even if they do, that doesn't do much for me, because either way, I can't show my face now that I'm presumed dead. I just wish that this diary would be placed on top of my grave when I'm dead. That way, everybody who comes by will realize the hardships I face. I pray somebody will grant me my last wish. <laughs> Emily found the tombstone after hours searching. I read your diary, Genevieve, Emily started. I'm so sad to hear your father did that to you and about all the people that died. I know you weren't a witch, neither was one of those people. I hope this makes you rest. I know it was your last wish. Emily placed the diary on top, down on top of her, or her grave and stood up as a sudden gust of wind came. The wind pushed open a book, the book onto, and onto what Emily thought were blank pages. There were two words scrolled across the page now, on a random piece of the diary. 